Well, today started off on the wet side in some parts of Tidewater, but it doesn't seem to have affected the big Norfolk tricentennial birthday party at the Navy base today. Kathy Midkiff is there now. And Kathy, how's that celebration going? Well, Terry, it had a bit of an ominous beginning with a cloud-covered sky, but as soon as the sun came out, so did the people, thousands of them, as I think you can see behind me here. You know, it's not every day that you get to go to a party like this, but then again, I guess it's not every day that a city celebrates its 300th birthday. It's a lot of years. Eric Reynolds was here this morning when the festivities kicked off, and he has a report on an exhibit that chronicles Norfolk's first 300 years. Eric Reynolds, The Daily News. And what about the future? It seemed that the crowd today was here to celebrate Norfolk's next 300 years. And to help them do that, there was music. The band you're about to see is called States, and its members actually hail from Norfolk. I'll tell you, the parade field over here at the Naval Base looked a little bit like a Latter-day Woodstock. People were everywhere, lying in the sun, soaking up the rays, and listening to the music. If they wanted any food while they were listening to some of the other bands, like Heat Wave from Dayton, Ohio, they could have sampled it from any one of more than a dozen concession stands. And here with us live right now is one of the gentlemen who helped uh, coordinate those concession stands and, and bring them all here today in such an organized fashion. Sid Kelsey, Jr., nice to have you here. Thanks very much for being with us live atop the Michelob truck here, which I guess is also one of your, one of your doings here. One of our concessions. Sure. Right. This is a big party, a lot of folks here. It's not everyone who can boast a party with this kind of attendance. About how many do we have here today? Uh, we have, uh, we're projecting at least 150,000 people will come here uh, to the celebration and uh, I got that from basically the police chief here on the base along with uh, John Sears who's the chairman of the fest and we feel that uh, just people just came from everywhere. Uh, as you said earlier, uh, it looked ominous at first and all of a sudden everybody's here. Sure, 150,000 people. Does that exceed your expectations? It certainly does. It certainly does. And uh, we're very happy that so many people wanted to celebrate with us today. Okay. Thank you very much, Sid Kelsey, who planned the concessions. Um, just a moment ago, they cut the birthday cake, and we'll have more on that tonight at 11. And right now, we're waiting for the Rita Coolidge concert to start. Terry? Okay, that looks like the birthday cake right there. It looks That's like right. it's a big birthday cake. Uh, Kathy, tonight, of course, is the... Uh, is the fireworks display. There are going to be mobs of people coming out to the uh, parade field to see that. Any tips on how to beat the traffic? Sure. The traffic here has been really well managed all day long, but officials do continue to insist that people take the shuttle buses that are at Military Circle and at Old Dominion. And the fireworks display tonight is certainly supposed to be one of the loudest in history, and we'll have details on that, of course, tonight at 11, along with details on the Rita Coolidge concert. Terry, back to you. Sounds like fun. Thank you very much, Kathy. And, of course, that'll be coming up tonight at 11. Coming up, we'll check in with Irene and find out about the weather for the coming week. That in a moment.